The life of a superhero is a lonely one filled with hardship and danger. The few who answer the call must leave comfort, safety, and often sanity behind. But someone's got to stand the heat and stay in the kitchen. Someone's got to don the oven mitts of all that's right and strangle the red-hot throat of all that's wrong. This is that someone's story. Hey, a bus. Still there? Yeah. He stands in silence, stoic, godlike. The mysterious Blue Avenger who has become legend to the simple folk of this bus station. But glory will not distract him from his vigil. Come on! Come on, come on! Metal Fiend. Stand back, citizen! So, vending menace, we meet again. Jiggle thingy. Harmless bandit. Empty your bladder of that bitter black urine men call coffee! It has its price and that price has been paid! Java Devil, you are now my bitch. Well, here you are, weary traveler, one steaming hot cup of justice. No need to thank me, it's my sworn duty to defend this bus station against the ravages of evil. Uh, you dropped this. Hey. A bus ticket, apparently. I intended to go on a trip to the city. Why? Well, it looks to me like you finally freed us from the tyranny of the coffee machine. So perhaps my work here is done. Perhaps it's time that I moved on to a place where there's... Stuff to do. Stuff to do. Stuff to do. Well, goodbye, grateful bus station man. You don't know what you'll do without me, but shed no tears. And goodbye, plucky, pimply tea. Think you're ready now to hear the truth. This wasn't really a magic hubcap. The magic was inside you all along. Huh. Well, destiny honks the horn of gotta go. To the city! Who was that blue stranger? He was the tick. Sir, I am sure that human resources can handle this. No need for you. A man's life is at stake, Mr. Parrot. I'm taking this bull by the horns personally. Good Lord, I'm too late. Mr. Mr. Fishladder. Arthur, it is still Arthur, isn't it? Arthur, my time is worth $17 a second. I want an explanation, and I want it to cost less than $1,500. Go. Oh, uh, well, it's hard to explain. $51. Mr. Fishladder, I have been living a lie. I am more than just a mild-mannered accountant. Now I do good work for this firm, and I value my job. It's just... My entire life has become nothing but numbers and deductions and IRAs. 255. And granted, I've been doing my parents' tax return since I was six, but even then, I knew I had a higher calling. I can't hide from it any longer. I... Don't say it! I am going to become a superhero. You know, part-time at first. Christ in heaven! Look at yourself! You're built like a sensible shoe. You shouldn't be jumping around town in a body sock fighting crime. Well, I haven't actually fought any crime yet. Good! Keep it that way. Crime fights back. Remember the lesson of Metcalf. Metcalf? Metcalf! Head of shipping and receiving third floor. Metcalf! He lost all his game pieces just like you. Cashed in his 401k and bought a jetpack. Now the poor bastard needs a machine. To poop! Mr. Fishladder? I know that sort of thing can happen, but... But you're gonna ride this thing out to the bloody gruesome end, aren't you? Well, maybe not all the way to the end, but, you know, for a while. Mr. Fishladder, I have to try. Time's up! 
Here's the way I see it. You're either a man with a job or an idiot in a bunny suit. You can't be both. Not at Worldwide Fish Ladder and Sons. So what's it gonna be, huh? It's gonna be a tough road to hoe, but he's just the Joe to hoe it. For destiny has called on him, and even now he feels her warm, moist hand at the small of his back. Pushing. Pushing. Losing that job was the best thing that could have happened to me. That paycheck was a noose around my neck. Now I can be like you, a superhero. Oh, crap. The noblest profession. Risking it all for the common good, that's our job. They may call us an accountant, but we can't deny our true natures, even if all of our friends and relatives tell us we're good at math. The hero's life, our destiny. Suit doesn't do a lot for you. Make you look like a Easter bunny. It's a flying suit. Easter bunny can't fly. Well, I can. <laughs> I haven't yet. But all I have to do is go to the top of the building and jump off. Go ahead. Who cares? I'm going to do it tonight. I think he's going to fall down a lot and die. Oh, crap. City! City! I am the chicken! And you have melted my heart. From this day forth, I will spread my buttery justice over your every nook and cranny. Hear me, O oh city, my city. Your toast will never go bare again. Comrades, the Red Scare, the finest secret Soviet super weapon 1979 had to offer. One touch of this button, and we'll have an unstoppable engine of death at our command. 1979? Does it still work? Does it still work? It's a Plotsky! Ivan Plotsky, the best scientist ever. A toast, my friends, to the Russian-American coalition for the annihilation of the U.S. postal system. Nostromia! <laughs> Sorry. Oh, a big person wants to make problems? It's really more of a moth thing. He wants to be a superhero. Let's teach him the lesson of Madcalf. Madcalf? Madcalf! No! My first damsel in distress. Unhand that woman! Oh. oh. Awkward moment. Sorry there, Mothman. Didn't mean to interrupt. Although I sure would like a slice of your righteous combat pie. What do you say? Help. Oh, hey, great. Thanks. <laughs> Wicked men, you face the tick. Single file. Knock it off. That's a don't do drugs. Hut, duh, hut. Where's more where that came from? He breathes in deep the sweet air of his first victory, and with the newly won friendship of his fellow warrior, he stands tall against the inevitable horrors to come. Come on, Mothman, to the rooftops! here on the rooftop. Sprightly clad stallions running the most dangerous steeplechase of them all. Flanks sweaty, nostrils flaring. We heroes are our own jockeys. Chum, we ride ourselves and hard. Robot! 
I saw a robot. You saw a robot. You lucky duck. Wow. <laughs> Haven't seen you around before. I am Bat Manuel. You may have heard of me. I uh, get a lot of press. You were the one who saved that trolley full of supermodels. Yes. In fact, I saved them three times in one night, if you get my meaning. Nope. Bat Manuel, thank God you're here. Listen, there's this big red... Bat Manuel? On a roof, of course. Huh? Yes, the doors open at midnight. Aha. Uh -huh. And invite Diego. I uh, like his sister. She's Catholic. Go walkie talkie. Gentlemen, Captain Liberty. Once again, the nation is in peril. No, I'm telling you, Falco died. See, si, Amadeus, Amadeus, he is a dead person. Captain Liberty, thank God you're here. Listen, there's a big red... There's no time to chat, I'm afraid. This is top priority. The CIA has tracked a secret Soviet super weapon to the city. Codenamed the Red Scare, 100% lethal. Exactly, exactly. That is the biggest darn whirly bird I have ever seen. So, Janet, back in bed with the CIA, huh? You certainly do your best work undercover. Stow it, you infant. I don't have time for your nonsense. Oh, you had a little time for it last month on top of that water tower. I shaved her two once, if you know what I'm saying. Nope. Everybody, the robot! It's right down there! I'm working on having him deported. Yeah, she fears the demons I have awoken in her womanly places. He just flipped over a car! Round one to airship, target the Euro trash and fire on my command. Lesbian? We should have taken your country when we had the chance. Mr. Lever Pantis. He's got the rocket. Give me those, you weasel! Don't fight like a girl, Janet. Fight like a woman. Hey, he's getting away! Oh, I stepped in gum. Oh. What's wrong with you people? You're superheroes. You're supposed to be, you know, oh. heroic. Sticky pink devil. Gracie Torp. A right wing ice queen. Oh. Oh. Who puts gum on a roof? Well, it's been a shattering disillusionment. Good night. What was that about a robot? Little guy? Oh, I stroke my ears. Little chump. What are you doing here? Oh, man, this is incredible. It looks just like an apartment. What? All right. Show me your trigger. My what? Your secret headquarters trigger, the switch that pops up all your secret crime-busting equipment. Is this it? Huh? Oh, say, what does your sofa turn into? It turns into a bed. Well, that's a start. What else you got? Nothing. I've got nothing. This is just an apartment. What are you doing here? I followed you home. I got something I want to show you. Look, this whole thing was a mistake. Apparently superheroes are just a bunch of egotistical, self-centered, sexually frustrated kindergartners. No offense intended. None comprehended. It's just, I thought they were supposed to risk it all for the common good, you know, help the downtrodden. The sad part is... I'm downtrodden. I'm not Mothman. I'm not a superhero. I'm not even an accountant anymore. I'm just Arthur. Arthur! Oh, listen to me carefully. I believe in you. I always have. That's why I'm here. Destiny dressed you this morning, my friend, and now fear is trying to pull off your pants. If you give up, if you give in, then you're going to end up naked with fear just standing there laughing at your dangling unmentionables. Oh, wait! I almost forgot the best part. I got to thinking you might be onto something about this whole Red Scare thing. 
figure maybe we should interrogate somebody. Please help me. Help you? You were gonna Metcalf me. Easy there, bad cop. I think you cracked this nut. All right, you heard the man. Give him the skinny. The Red Scare is a relentless robotic assassin built in the late 70s and, 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 and programmed to kill Jimmy Carter. We were going to use it to kill the Postmaster General, but you thwarted us before we had the chance. Well, you see, Arthur? You thwart. Well, then it must still be programmed. Oh, my God. Jimmy Carter is in town. Jimmy Carter is in town. Heavens to Betsy, what are the odds? Quickly jump. Jimmy needs us now more than ever. Oh, Us? Us. I have no money. Five dollars at fifteen percent. Add. Just keep the change. Where are the building? Hey, idiot! The Russians are coming. Sorry. The Russians are coming. To the front house. Take this is insane. I can't fight the Red Scare. Yes, you can. I'm just an accountant. Well, people change. Yeah, people die. No, they don't. Yes, they do. Not on my watch, they don't. Looks like we're going to be late. But I don't want to poop with the machine. No one's asking you to. <clears throat> Jimmy Carter. Jimmy, in the elevator. We'll take it from here. Mr. President. Jimmy, you got robot problems and bad. I left my money in my room. I'm sorry. And your very life hangs in the balance. Help! Help! Mr. President, I believe in you. I always have. That's why. Take, I'm take. Happy. Don't squeeze his head. But that doesn't work on anybody. Remarkably spry. Men are wrestling out there. Mr. President, Help. please. Help! Circus freaks! Help. Please, Mr. President, I know we look strange, but we're here to help you. There's a Soviet killing machine out there with your name on it, and it could strike at any moment. I don't believe you. Oh. Great Molly Hatchet! Jimmy Carter, you have his sentence to death. Not so fast. Destroy Jimmy Carter. You and what army, Pinko? Ugh! Oh. Ugh! Oh. Knock it off! Don't worry, Mr. President. Everything's gonna be okay. I think. Good helmet. Destroy Jimmy Carter. Pool! That's dirty pool! No, we're not, Mr. Ex-President. Grab onto me and hold tight. <laughs> oh, yes, it's too late. We learned that communism does not pay. So, don't have a snappy Soviet comeback for that one, do we? That's how we vanquished our first supervillain, and how Arthur learned to fly, and how we gave Jimmy Carter a mild concussion. <laughs> we saved a president. And yet the evening's greatest victory is the friendship forged between this heroic duo. Inseparable, <laughs> bonded together by the crazy glue of justice. Till death do they part. We saved a president. Uh, you two are the talk of the town, you know. I'd be honored if you would uh, shine my cast. Oh, sure. Boys, that was excellent work out there. I'm sorry I was somewhat 
distracted earlier, but I assure you that I did come to my senses before it was too late. She's a, a beautiful woman, but uh, her third base is uh, very dangerous, if you get my meaning. Ow. Oh. Here, fortune cookies, check. Check. Look, more strange treats from the Orient. Mm. A secret message from my teeth. The road to hell is paved with good intentions. I don't get it. Damn. It's Apocalypse Cow. Arthur, evil is afoot and hoofing it with dark gusto. Let's go. I would not go out there, my little friend. Apocalypse Cow is 50 feet tall. She shoots fire from her teats. Quickly jump! There's fire everywhere! Batman well said, utter fire. Fight fire with Arthur! No, I'll just get a check. It's your dust in the hand. Batmanuel? Diego! <laughs> How is your sister? <laughs> 